Hello, we are going to talk about the aftermath of the 1857 rebellion, all its Indian nationalist ideologies. The rebellion encouraged British racism. The newspapers put India in a bad position. This all ended up in a massacre of India at Allahabad later in June. Political and social reorganization following 1857. The British and the East India Company, or EIC, wanted new demands due to the relationship between the British and the Indians. Queen Victoria's proclamation of 1858 was one of the causes of the rebellion. This proclamation made many new relationships between the British and the Indians and also removed Dalhousie's mandate that led the East India Company to take land and rule the region. Indian Nationalist Nationalist ideologies began to take hold off across the subcontinent. With Queen Victoria's proclamation of 1858, the colonial government attempted to incorporate more Indian elites and Indian traditions into the structure of the government. The Municipal Courts Act of 1822. The Municipal Courts Act of 1822 limited representative power to Indians at the municipal level. Indian representation advantaged the British because it transferred boy into a different city. Thanks for your time. This is Bachi by Toys R Us, where imagination comes to life. <laughs>